Hello and welcome to the beautiful church of St. George's at Clifton. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also with you. Almighty God, to, to whom, whom all hearts are open, open, all desires known, and, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come, let us return to the Lord and say, Lord our God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud. Like, like the Jew that goes away early. Have, have mercy on us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds and revive us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you called your church to bear witness that you were in Christ, reconciling the world to yourself. Help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be drawn to you through him who was lifted up on the cross and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our church warden Granville is going to read our first reading. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandment, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall, shall not covet, and any other commandments are summed up in this word. Love your neighbour as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbour, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is over. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Let us live honourably as in the day, not revelling and drunkenness, and in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarrelling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, Truly I tell you, if two of, of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the light of eternity, we're here for a very short time, really. We are here for one thing, ultimately to learn how to love. Because God is love. Love is our origin, love is our ground, and love is our destiny. They are not my words. This is a quote from James Finley, a Christian mystic. I wish I had written it, because I think it sums up the whole point of life. It tells us how to live within God's law, how to prepare ourselves to live at home with God, and it tells us how to deal with our debts. Now, we may or may not have debts of many kinds, but St Paul's advice is that our only debt should be to love one another. And he says that the whole of the law is fulfilled and summed up by the instruction to love your neighbour as yourself. When we talk about love in this way, we aren't talking about hearts and flowers and sentimentality. The romantic love is very important. Here we are talking about the most powerful force on earth. We are talking about love which is strong as death, which can't be quenched and which can transform our lives and our world. We are talking about love which has resurrection power and which can't be defeated. And we aren't talking about some easy formula of words or actions which magically makes everything all right. We're talking about the hard work of love and reconciliation. St Matthew sets out a plan for making things right between people in church, but it can apply anywhere. This is real and honest, 
and it acknowledges that where there are people, there will be some difficulty, misunderstanding, and yes, some argument. What we do about that is important. It may require courage. It will certainly require honesty and a desire for things to be better. Sorting things out in private means listening to the other person and it means avoiding grumbling, gossip or slanderous criticism. This is the hard work of love and it's a way of sorting out our debts. Very soon we'll pray the Lord's Prayer together and we'll pray forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We could be really brave and pray the literal translation of those words which is forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. If someone has behaved badly towards us, how does that mean that they're in our debts? And how can we forgive that debt? Well, if I'm living with resentment towards someone who upset me, I might expect them to be always making it up to me, paying back that debt of hurt and vice versa. I might spend my time counting up their wrongs, adding interest to them, and building up a destructive load of misery, which can destroy both of us. If I forgive them, then I can let us both be free from that hurt. We don't have to keep on living with it. We can both be let off that debt. So how about this? If someone upsets us, don't gossip about them, but make time and space for them. Listen, understand and respond with love. It may be that you'll have to acknowledge a broken relationship but you will know that you have worked for peace and reconciliation. You will have taken another lesson in love and another step towards home. And I invite you to join with me in saying the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, died and, was and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So the first part of our service, carry on. We're not completed yet. So Val is going to lead us in our intercession. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, 
We ask that you give us a sense of your presence as we bring before you our prayers for ourselves and for the world. Grant us gratitude as we remember your goodness towards us, penitence as we remember our sins, and joy as we remember your love and forgiveness towards us. Lord, we ask you to open our eyes to the beauty and wonder of your presence in the world. And let it not be just on those days when the sun is shining, but on the days when the storm clouds roam in as well. Those days when we have lost our bearings and don't know where to turn or what to expect. And we pray that your miracle of love, grace and compassion may be seen and experienced by all. Amen. Lord, you teach us to love and forgive others as you forgive us. Your love for us knows no bounds. We let you down time after time, yet you are always there to pick us up and start again. May your church be a place where such love and forgiveness abounds, and may its doors be open to all. Lord, we ask that you help us to support those weak in faith, that your church throughout the world will give strength to those who search and question. Give us grace to help those who have fallen by the wayside. Help us to seek out and work for understanding and tolerance, regardless of religious backgrounds, social backgrounds, racial or political backgrounds. We pray especially that religious views do not lead to bitterness and hatred between us. Help us all to be open, not judgmental, to forgive others as you forgive us to love others as you love us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. In a world which often seems to be so divided, angry, partisan and judgmental, we pray today for goodness, reconciliation, love and forgiveness. Lord, inspire us to go beyond our own comfort zones and help anyone in need, regardless of them being different to ourselves. Lord, we know we are damaging our world, this thing of beauty you gave us. We pray for the world's fam farmers who have suffered drought, floods, storms and poor harvests. Lord, give us such love for this world that we take care of it. We pray for our oceans filling with plastic we discard thoughtlessly across both land and sea and our land defiled by waste and litter. Guide us and our leaders to make our world a better place for us all to live in. In this world today, there are victims of war, earthquake, hurricane, fire and famine. We pray for those who disaster has left homeless, injured or bereaved. We pray for all who are desolate and in pain or sorrow this day. For we pray for all who have lost what little they had. And we ask that our statesmen and leaders throughout the world show the compassion and fairness in their leadership that you show to us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each new day, for the joy of friends and family, for the privilege of living in this beautiful part of your world. Help us make this world a better place for all. Guard our speaking as we meet with others and save us in our turn from idle gossip about ourselves and our families. Shield us from hasty words and disregard of truth and persuade us that there is a time when we should speak and a time when, in the wisdom we borrow from you, we should remain silent. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful God, we pray for the many people in all parts of the world who have contracted coronavirus. Bring comfort to those grieving loved ones who have died and peace to those worried, fearful and uncertain as the virus continues to spread. We give thanks for those who have recovered and we pray for governments and authorities developing strategies to contain and deal with this virus and those in the health services who may be risking their own lives to care for sick patients. We pray for the researchers and their volunteers who are trialling new treatments, for all who have been severely affected by coronavirus. 
And we remember before you those who have lost their jobs and those struggling to feed themselves and their families. We think of those we know who are ill, fearful and bereaved. In your mercy, heal their sickness, dispel their fears, and may they know that you are ever near them and receive comfort from the knowledge that you are with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for those whose hearts have been saddened by the death of someone close and dear to them, for close friends and members of our own families who have died and whose anniversary we recall. Help us to experience the comfort and peace of the Holy Spirit within us and the fellowship of our church family around us. Lord, you turn our darkness into light. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Lord of love, life and forgiveness, with grateful hearts, we know that our lives are a gift of your grace, that we are renewed every morning and nurtured every day in your tender care. We know we will face challenges this coming week. There may be difficult decisions. We may be at a crossroads. We know that you will guide us, that you will be at our side as we make our choices. May we love others as you love us. May we forgive others as you forgive us. May we be a blessing to all whose lives we touch in this coming week. May we receive in gratitude the blessings their lives bring to ours. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 